life can get pretty hectic. We've always got somewhere to be, something we just have to do. We seem to be forever pulled around here and there by our overactive minds seeking stimulation. We rarely take a moment to pause, reflect and unwind. By choosing to meditate, we are making a decision to stop running around, to stop chasing after this and that, and instead to cast our gaze inwards, establishing ourselves in the peaceful refuge of the present moment. We simply sit and watch. Watch the breath, watch the body, and watch the mind. Gradually, things can start to calm down. We can begin to recognise the ways of our own minds, and, with practice, can learn to disentangle from stress and reactivity, discovering a wiser, more compassionate way of relating and responding to ourselves and to the world around us. First, find a quiet, private space where you won't be disturbed. Turn off all devices and alarms and sit down on a meditation cushion. For the half lotus position, place one leg on the floor and tuck it towards you. The other leg rests on top of the calf. This isn't the easiest position if you're new to meditation, but with time, the muscles and tendons will stretch to accommodate this arrangement. Be kind with yourself. It can take several months for the legs to get used to this way of sitting. So take it easy. Don't force yourself to sit in pain. You won't impress anybody and may end up injuring yourself. The ideal is to have both knees touching the floor or mat beneath you. If you can't quite achieve this, Use pillows or folded blankets under the knees to help you. Aim to sit on the edge of the cushion so that the hips are rocking slightly forward. The goal is to achieve a tripod effect, with your bum on the cushion raising you up and tilting you slightly forward, with your two knees as the other legs of the tripod. This produces a sturdy, stable, balanced position, optimal for sitting more than a few minutes at a time. It also helps your spine to straighten. You should find that as you sit like this, the lower back curves in ever so slightly. This is good and natural. It provides a natural stability for sitting upright for long periods. Place your hands in your lap. If you're wearing baggy clothes, you may have a nice cradle to hold your hands in your lap. Some people like to place the hand in the palm of the other, with the thumbs touching. This can help you stay awake, and also aids the balancing of the body and the straightening of the spine. When the thumbs touch, they should be level with the point just below the navel and the meeting point should be in line with your spine. 
Others just like to fold their hands comfortably in their lap, or to place them on their thighs. It doesn't really matter. Use whatever works for you. If you are sitting correctly, you will find that the shoulders relax and drop downwards and back. The shoulders are horizontal and parallel with the ground. The head balances at the top of the neck lightly, with the ears parallel to the shoulders and the nose in line with the spine. Tuck your chin in slightly. A helpful way to hold the head is to imagine a line of wire coming down from the ceiling above you and attaching to the top of your head. The line is holding you up like a puppet on a string. This can help you find a natural balance. As you start to meditate, you can drop your eyes into a soft gaze on the floor just in front of you. Alternatively, you can close your eyes entirely. In this simple form of meditation, you are not seeking to control the breath. You simply receive it and watch it as it naturally enters and leaves the body. Before starting, it can be beneficial to take three deep breaths into and out of the mouth paying particular attention to the exhalation. As you exhale, let go of any lingering stress and prepare the mind for the session. For the remainder of your meditation, simply allow the breath to flow naturally in and out of the nostrils. Breathe with the diaphragm. This means that with the in-breath, the belly should expand outwards. And with the out-breath, you should feel the diaphragm contract, pushing the air up and out of your lungs. That's about it for posture. Don't worry if you haven't quite got it like this. The most important thing is to find a posture that is right for you and your body. Don't try to force yourself into a position that doesn't feel right. The point of achieving a good posture is to be in the optimal position for sitting upright for long periods of time. So please be kind with yourself. So, what happens now? We simply draw our attention to the present moment. The past has gone. The future is not yet. All we have is this unfolding moment. Anchor yourself in the present by paying attention to your immediate experience. Start with the breath. Watch it come all the way in and all the way out. Don't try to control it or change it. Just watch. Attend to where the breath is most vivid for you. This may be at the nostrils or at the stomach as it arises and falls with the breath. Allow all other sensations of the present moment to be here just as they are. The sensations in the body, the sounds around you, the thoughts and emotions that arise for you in this moment. Simply allow whatever arises to arise, to linger and to pass away. As with the breath, don't interfere with what arises. Simply let it come and let it be. Don't hold on to it. Simply watch it as it lingers for a time and then flows on by. Inevitably, you will find yourself lost in thoughts and emotions that bubble up for you. 
The mind seems to be always flowing, always churning, always pulling you away from the present moment. Don't worry, this is perfectly natural. Don't fight with the current, don't struggle against it. Just notice, step back and watch it flow. Don't be upset if your mind refuses to go quiet. This too is natural. Don't seek to empty the mind. It will quieten down of its own accord once you cease to engage with it. This gradual quietening is the fruit of meditation, but it is not the practice itself. The practice is to continually notice to disentangle yourself from the flow of thoughts that threaten to drag you off into ruminations and imaginings, and then to draw your attention back to the present moment, back to this breath. Noticing that you have been carried away is not evidence of failure. This act of noticing is itself the practice. It's a cause for positivity. Congratulate yourself for having noticed. Simply notice, let go of the thoughts, and then return once more to the moment. With time, the mind will become still and calm. You will become an adept at letting go, and will begin to see its effects in your everyday life you will begin to discover a non-reactive, spacious awareness that is always available to you. This offers a wide perspective from which the inner workings of your mind will become clear, offering you the choice to respond wisely and freely to the events of your life. Meditation is very simple, but it is not necessarily easy. You have to practice. Aim to make it into a habit. Same time, same place, every day. Sit for just 10 minutes at first, and then extend your sittings as you get used to the practice and the posture. Why not give it a try right now? Just sit here, put down all your narratives and judgments, all thoughts of the day, let them go. Allow thoughts of past and future to gradually fade from your mind. Now, open your heart to the present moment. Simply sit in the fullness of the moment. Accept right now just as it is. Attend to the sensations of this unfolding moment as though cherishing something delicate in your hands. With a detached curiosity of what unfolds. Allow thoughts, feelings and sensations to simply arise in your awareness, to linger for a time and to pass away. With a light touch, a soft focus, rest here in awareness completely safe, completely at ease, with an attitude of goodwill towards the world and yourself. Simply dwell here in a state of peace.